Ibaka trying to stay with Durant, knocks it away, and Durant slipping. Durant goes down, holding his leg. Ibaka goes up, and is fouled down the other end. And Durant grabbing that right leg. It's the right calf that put him out. And his teammates going over to check on him. They don't like to hear the fans yeah, cheering. I, I'm surprised by that, and and the players are telling him not to be doing that. To cheer for a player who gets injured. And credit Serge Ibaka, and there's the play right away. He knew it. You will not see a better sight than we just witnessed. Unfortunately, what happened to Kevin Durant, to Kyle Lowry, Pascal Siakam, Serge Ibaka telling the crowd, no, we are not going to cheer when this guy goes down. And now had to be helped off. So what you just saw there was Toronto fans last night during the NBA Finals series. I don't know what game they're in. I don't follow it that closely. But they're cheering as Kevin Durant, one of the best players in basketball, member of the Golden State Warriors, gets injured. They're cheering that this man got hurt because it gives their team an advantage. And that just – you got to be a special type of loser to be sitting in the stands stuffing your face with nachos and popcorn and beer and soda pop cheering because some man got injured out here playing basketball so that your team which is compromised of other different men that aren't you are playing wins and these are the same type of people that you know when their team wins whatever championship of some game that they're that they're you know well well we won the championship you didn't win nothing you sat on the couch eating pizza while they won it so let's put things in perspective but i want to make this short video just to put in perspective this isn't the only area of life that this happens in we need to be careful not to cheer for the downfall of others just because it makes us seem better or gives us an advantage. That's a really ugly and selfish thought process to be in. And I I've seen it so often in my own life. I've been I've been guilty of it. Where, you know, the the faults of somebody else I can play to my advantage. And and I think if honestly whoever watches this, they if they were honest, they've they've done that too where they've been in some kind of competition with somebody else for over something and it makes them look better when somebody else isn't doing so good or they can they can point out the flaws of somebody else to make themselves feel better or whatever um and we see this on a national stage i mean half the country literally wanted their president to be caught colluding with a foreign power to corrupt their elections because it makes their side win uh, that that's I mean that's just how we're programmed here lately is to cheer the downfall of others if it gives us some sort of form of advantage and it's really an ugly thing we should not wish that others which even even if they deserve justice we should not wish that they would do something like that because it gives us some kind of advantage we should not wish injury on somebody because it gives us some kind of advantage we should not wish these kind of things we should not we should hope there's nothing wrong with being competitive but if we we when we are competitive we should want the best of our opponent you know tony ferguson over the weekend fights donald cerrone the fight's a crazy fight tony's definitely pulling away with the fight in the second round donald cerrone at the end of the second round in between rounds blows his nose when his eye was already swollen which is something you know you should not do he had probably a broken nose or at least close to a broken nose. His eye puffs up and swells shut. Tony Ferguson gets the W. They stop the fight. And he didn't even want to talk on the microphone first. He told Joe Rogan to go talk to Donald Cerrone. Because he didn't want to win that way. Even though he just won the fight. Off of his opponent's mistake. You know that, that's a to the totally opposite of this. You know the, my opponent is better than this. He made a mistake. And I didn't want to win like this. I didn't want to hit him after the bell, all this kind of stuff. You know, we should not be in this mindset 
that we want others to self-destruct for our benefit. You know, that's, or other people to have some kind of inadvertent problem come up because it benefits us. Uh, just some thoughts on that situation. That was a really ugly scene um, on last night at the NBA Finals.